Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Hodgton, a yacht broker with the Multi Hall Company, and we're gonna talk a little bit today about surveys. And that is one of the uh, main concerns of buyers when looking to purchase a boat. Um, what is involved with the survey, right? So once the boat is under contract, you know, we've agreed on a price and um, it's time to do due diligence. Um, we're gonna obviously hire a surveyor. So generally, depending on where the boat's located, I, as the buyer's representative, will send them a list of reputable surveyors in that area. It's really up to the, the buyer to vet all the various options and, and determine which one's gonna be the best for their needs. That said, we like to make recommend people that we've worked with in the past that we know do a good job, um, you know, are gonna give you uh, a lot of value for your money. So we'll send you a list and you can go over it and choose the one that's right for you. Or, you know, you can disregard the list altogether if you'd like. The day of survey usually gets started pretty early. Uh, the, the surveyors usually have us down there at least by 8 a.m. And uh, it starts out with an in-water inspection, right? So the surveyor is going to go through the whole boat. They're going to pull stuff out of cabinets and, and pull up floorboards and, you know, check bilges and run the moisture meter all over the deck in the hall and they're going to turn on electronics and check batteries and um, start engines and do all that kind of stuff. And so the, the in-water inspection is quite thorough um, to start off the survey. They're going to be taking all kinds of pictures and, and generally they're pretty good about um, telling the buyer what they're doing as they're, they're doing it so you know, the buyer can ask questions along the way. Next uh, is generally the, the sea trial. So we'll leave the dock. Um, we will, you know, obviously run the engines, push them through their RPM curve, see what kind of speed the boat is making, um, what kind of power it's making at, at various RPM, make sure it's getting its full um, range. And we're gonna turn on electronics and make sure that, you know, everything is functioning as it should be, right? So the, the anemometer is telling us wind speed and we're getting wind direction and the AIS is transmitting and the chart plotters you know, are reading properly and all those type of things that need to be done underway to properly check them. Um, during the sea trial, we'll generally do um, a short sailing, you know, um, little excursion, right? We'll, we'll put the sails up, we'll do a couple tacks, you know, maybe a couple little beam reaches or something. Um, don't expect it to be you know, like a little booze cruise, you know, a day of, of sailing. Um, depending on the boat, we sometimes, you know, will do a more extensive sea trial if that's a really important aspect of, of the sail of the boat. But um, usually it's more just making sure everything's functioning properly. Right? Do this, does the main go up properly? You know, is the, you know, does the head sail, is the furler working correctly? Are, are all the electric winches turning as they should? You know, to how, what's the steering feel like? It's everything seem to be working properly. And um, I generally encourage the the buyer to get on the helm uh, at this point and, you know, get a little feel for the boat. It's exciting. It, it gets them excited about the purchase and, you know, they start to get a feel for, oh man, this is gonna be so great. Um, but we don't really go for a very long sail. Um, from there, we generally take the boat to the haul out facility. Um, you know, as part of the sea trial, we'll just take it straight to the boat yard. And, um, you know, we'll put the boat in the sling, uh, haul it out. The surveyor will then conduct his out of water inspection, which consists of checking for osmosis on the hull, you know, looking for blisters. Um, he's gonna check the running gear. So if it's a straight shaft, he's gonna check the, there's no play in the shaft, look at the cutlass bearing, you know, check the folding props or, or feathering props for, you know, proper function. He'll look at the rudders, uh, make sure there's no play in the rudders, look for moisture intrusion. If it's got dagger boards, he'll check the dagger boards, make sure they're functioning properly and they have no, you know, no evidence of, of grounding on the keels or dagger boards or rudders, right? So look for repairs and those kind of things um, that might have taken place over the years. And um, the, the out of water inspection generally goes pretty quickly, right? The boat will hang in the slings for an hour or two tops. Um, the surveyor will do his thing. And then uh, we're usually putting the boat back in the water. 
um, and we'll generally return it to the slip or anchorage that we uh, started the day at. From there, um, the buyer will generally sit down with the surveyor. He might go over a couple little loose ends once we return uh, at the end of the day, but he'll generally sit down with the buyer and kind of do an overview of his conclusions and any concerns he has. So as the buyer, when you're leaving the survey day, you'll have a pretty good idea of what's going to be on that report and you should have be fairly comfortable with your um, decision moving forward. Yeah, now it's um, usually two or three days that until we receive the actual survey report um, in writing from the surveyor. And at that point, if I'm representing the buyer, I, I ask them to send it to me and we'll go over it together, right? And I always like to make clear to buyers that there, there's no such thing as a perfect survey, right? The, the surveyor is always going to find something, you know, so you don't want to get too um, concerned about the little things, right? The easily repairable things, the, the things that don't cost a lot of money to fix. Um, it's the, the big things that we're worried about, right? Structural damage, uh, evidence of grounding, you know, non-functioning electronics, uh, you know, things like that. So if we do find some problems like that, some bigger things that are going to cost, you know, a fair amount of money to repair, we will then go through a second round of negotiations. And it's at this point that we will either request that the owner, um, the seller of the boat, give us a further concession off the price to compensate for, for these things that were found during survey, or we'll give him the opportunity to remedy these problems uh, prior to closing on the boat. Um, so it, it varies based on the you know position of the seller and the and the buyer and um, you know sometimes there's some tough negotiation that goes on at this point but we can usually get there and um, generally everybody's leaving post survey negotiations happy satisfied so you know at that point we move forward with closing and and you know you now you own a new boat so. If you have any other questions, if I missed anything regarding survey, you can feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my number is 910-477-2508, or you can get me at amhodgton at multihallcompany.com. I look forward to chatting with you.